Hello, fellow techies and friends. Welcome to ProRer. A couple of decades ago, flying cars and hoverbikes were common terms in fantasy conversations about futurism and innovation. Today, it almost seems like the next big step for the industry, and it's already here. Straight out of a sci-fi movie, the next leap for the automotive industry is getting those wheels off the ground. A highly daunting task yet a cornerstone in automotive mobility. Who haven't dreamed about flying? The millennial generation might be the first one to have a shot at affordable personal aviation, with new forms of transportation popping up around the world, almost every day. It is expected that air mobility will expand in the future, but first of all, it is expected to be used in circuits, mountainous areas, at sea, and in times of disaster. This video covers the top 5 hoverbikes and new inventions in automotive industry. Number 5, Scorpion 3. Scorpion 3 is a fully manned quadcopter for human transport. It is an electric-powered vessel which combines a motorcycle seat with quadcopter drone technology. The craft resembles a compact dirt bike in size and shape, with its frame based on a motorcycle concept. It surfs through the air by changing altitude and direction. The hoverbike has inbuilt software for full manual and automated control. The platform is equipped with a safety system powered by state-of-the-art flight controllers, special logical programming, and computer-aided speed and altitude limiting. The hoverbike frame is a supporting power platform made in the form of a spatial carbon monocoque. The overlap of the cross-forming is reinforced and fixed by power plates from below and from above. On the end sections of the power platform, independently working censored engines with propellers are mounted on the beams. Above the center structure of the supporting power platform a module containing computer, onboard flight system, sensors, battery and generator are housed. The frame supports four propellers and is made from single-element carbon fiber, this reduces weight by half, making way for a larger, more powerful battery setup. The pilot is assisted by a flight computer that helps provide stability during takeoff and landing. Two leather-covered joysticks control the aircraft. Flights can last up to 25 minutes, then it takes about two and a half hours to recharge the batteries. Number 4 Speeder. The Speeder is a flying motorcycle concept from Jetpack, expecting to be commercially available by 2023. Some years ago, the Speeder was designed as a flying vehicle for the military, government, and commercial clients to rescue, and save lives. Now, it comes as a recreational version for personal transport, with a fully vertical takeoff and landing technology, able to effectively lift off anywhere, at a space taken up by a small car. The vehicle by Jetpack Aviation is fully stabilized and minimal pilot training is needed for flying the vehicle. The vehicle is lighter than a 125cc motorcycle, while is simpler to fly than any other aircraft in its class. Furthermore, it will be able to fly up to 240 km per hour and take off and land vertically from almost any place. Following intensive tests, the speeder will be offered in two different versions, the ultralight and the experimental category version. To drive the first one, a pilot's license is not required, as the training will be provided by Jetpack Aviation or one of its authorized training centers. The ultralight will be able to carry up to 5 gallons .9 liters, of fuel and reach flying speeds up to 96 km per hour. On the other hand, the experimental version will need a private pilot's license to operate and will have almost no fuel or speed limitations. Number 3, Zturismo Limited Edition. Zturismo Limited Edition hoverbike from ALI Tech is readying for liftoff in the coming years. Powering the hover are four electric motors and an internal combustion engine that runs on petrol. It uses six blades to lift off and navigate, with two larger blades, front and back, and two on each side. It promises to fly for 40 minutes at up to 100 km per hour. While the maximum speed of the hoverbike hasn't been disclosed, 100 seems to be the economic speed to fly at, according to the brand. In terms of dimensions, it stretches 3.7 meters in length, 2.4 meters wide, and 1.5 meters in height. Unfortunately, it offers only a single seating setup, limiting the fun. All in all, this Turismo flying bike weighs about 300 kilograms. 
while you can pre-book yourself on Turismo Limited Edition today for 77.7 million yen, roughly converted to 5.10 crore, deliveries will begin next year. Only 200 of these hover bikes will be produced with this run. The company aims to bring out a fully electric hoverbike by 2025 too. ALI Technologies is currently in talks with the Tokyo Stock Exchange and has selected lead underwriters for an initial public offering on Tokyo's mother's market for startups. The Zturismo Limited has been showcased at public events so far, while there seems to be strong interest from the Middle East market. The next few months will see manufacturers test flights and finalize plans, while regulators work towards drawing the right safety norms required for the same. Stay tuned till the end and give the video a thumbs up while you also smash the subscription. Number 2, Lazareth LMV 496. Lazareth, a French company famous for its innovation has been ascending in the bike industry since its inception. However, with their most recent product, the Lazareth LMV 496 La Moto Volante they have taken things to a new level and have explored the new potential of the biking industry. Lazarus LMV 496 is capable of converting into a hover bike. The new bike LMV 496 will cost around 3.5 crore. Initially, the French automotive company has decided to make only five prototypes of the bike. Later on, LMV 496 will be up for sale. By the time the bike is on the road, its electric motor will be functional and will go up to 60 miles on a single charge. When the bike lifts in the air, it uses four jet propulsion engines, giving the bike up to 10 minutes of flight time. The jet engines of LMV 496 resemble the engines of an aeroplane. The four jet engines are capable of producing around 1,300 horsepower. Information relating to altitude, fuel level, speed and direction get displayed on the dashboard of the bike. The bike sports an onboard kerosene fuel tank. To keep the overall weight of Lazareth LMV 496 light, the company has used advanced Kevlar carbon composite to make the body of the bike. Kevlar is a bulletproof material used in armor vehicles and to make bulletproof jackets. The bike weighs around 140 kilograms. Once it lifts in the air, the Lazareth bike can be controlled using joysticks, which are fixed on both sides of the handlebar. It can hover above 3.3 meters from the ground. The flying techniques can be useful in avoiding traffic jams. On a single charge, the bike can travel a distance of 60 miles while there is no roll of electricity when the vehicle is in air. Number 1, BMW R1200Gs. BMW Motorrad has announced plans to fund development of their R1200Gs adventure hover ride concept with production aimed for 2024. When BMW partnered with LEGO Technic for a joint design, the brand's engineers and designers envisioned an R1200 G's of the future. The G's hover bike was born. The hover ride is the work of an elite team within the BMW Junior Company, an innovative unit in which engineers from diverse departments work on projects that push the bounds of contemporary technologies and pave a vision for the future. The design teams of both LEGO Technic and BMW joined forces to create an alternative model with the same 603 pieces, as is commonly provided with LEGO Technic 2-in-1 kits. The futuristic ride is full of emotion and creative energy, so rather than just leaving the hover ride concept as a LEGO model, the BMW Junior Company in Munich decided to actually build a life-size version with real parts. Although the model is designed with the same LEGO parts as the R1200G's Adventure, numerous components such as the front wheel rim modified to form a propeller, were specially made for the project, demonstrating the youngsters' skilled craftsmanship. Whether they have any plans of actually trying to build a hoverbike and whether this concept model may ever become a reality is uncertain. But BMW is clearly thinking ahead and coming up with some innovative concepts. The hover ride concept not only incorporates the BMW Motorrad design DNA with typical elements such as the boxer engine and the characteristic G's silhouette, it also draws on the LEGO Technic stylistic idiom. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you like the videos and contents please like, comment and subscribe our channel.